Hey everybody, welcome back to the Vampreneur channel. Today, we're going to be discussing somewhat of a unique character in the gig economy. If you haven't been here before, what we do is we pretty much just talk about anything cargo van related and things of how you could help your cargo van business. And recently, how we started, we're just reviewing gig apps and how you can utilize them with your your cargo van business and or with your everyday life with your personal vehicle and today that that app that we're going to be talking about is Senpex um, and one a couple of reasons why I'm talking about Senpex one I haven't seen a lot of people talking about it um, it's not as popular of, of an app and another reason I'm talking about it is because it becomes super clutch. Like this app has, I've gotten an order at random times and it's just been a super clutch moment. And so times like that make me happy and make me want to talk about it. Um, and another reason, or one, one, one thing I've experienced with Senpex, um, I didn't really do any, any hard research on it, but I've only gotten orders through Lowe's from Senpex. So it seems like they're only doing, seems like they're specifically Lowe's. I have gotten two orders from Goodwill. Um, surprisingly enough, uh, one of them, I haven't, I didn't do either of them. One of them I was going to, but I'll talk about that here in a second. Um, so stick around until the end and you'll see me break down some pros and cons, give a couple of real life examples and then after that, I'll give an overall rating of my opinion on how good Senpex is and if I would recommend it or not. So starting off with the pros, one, one of the, it's one of the easiest apps to use by far. To give a quick example on that, I've received an order, so you'll receive orders whether or not you're online. Um, doesn't mean you have to do them, they're just saying, hey, there's an order near you you can accept it or decline it. And I've accepted it, went to the store, done the whole pickup, delivered it to the customers, did the pictures, went back home, got paid, all to realize I never even went online in the app. So I don't know how much of that Senpex could actually track other than the uh, real-time uploads. But, so the, the app is crazy easy to use. Um, and let's move on to the next one. Uh, it does pay better than most gig apps. So there's that. That's, that's, the average order I've seen is right around $30. Okay, I've gotten a couple orders for $25 um, and they were really small, only two or three miles. And I've gotten a couple quite a few orders that would always be like $33 and 33 cents. If you're somebody who has used the Senpex app a couple times, you've probably seen that amount of quite a few times as well. It's a very common, common price. Um, the loads are, are usually very, very simple. Um, I've had easier loads with Senpex than any other app so far. The items have always been minimal and never really too heavy. Um, so yeah, and using Senpex, so if you're able, if you download Senpex, one way you're able to utilize it, you know, is when you, is when you get approved for a roadie and then you jump on and, oh cool, you're approved for a DoorDash and then Oh, you know, you can accept this, this Senpex real quick. And you, it's, it just makes it easier to stack orders when you use multiple apps. And that's why we're reviewing so many of them. Um, and they also have good customer support. So that's it for the pros. Now let's get into the cons and there's really not too many cons. So they're not as busy. I've gone weeks in a row without receiving a Senpex order. So at least in my area, it's nothing you can rely on. And we're, it's not a major metropolitan area, but within 20, 25 miles, I think it's like 23 miles away. 
uh, within 25 miles, there's three lows going east, west, and south. And two of the lows are within 12 miles. So with three lows, you can still have quite a gap where you're, you may not receive an order. But I've also had days where I received or I've done three orders and I remember one specifically because it came out to $99.99 at the end of the day because each order was $33.33. .33. Um, let's see. And yeah, so and then the next con I have is pickup location communication. And what I meant by that was out of all of the stores and the gig apps I've used, I've noticed the Lowe's employees or the customer reps there uh, where you go to say you're here for the order. They're a little bit less trained with the gig workers because I've had a lot of Lowe's employees just be totally unaware of like what I'm talking about or the fact that somebody else is picking up a product. Um, yeah, I've, I've had a good handful of instances specifically through lows um a few lows where they just the employees just seemed like they weren't very uh well versed with with the the whole setup that we got going with the gig economy workers um so i do want to give a couple of examples too on on my experiences with senpex so a total um, I actually forgot to look it up, but I know it off the top of my head pretty much. It's like just over just over $1,100, and I've been using the app. I've had it downloaded now for a solid three months, uh, maybe four, maybe close to four. But like I've said before, they've gone two, three weeks at a time even without sending out orders. Um, and maybe they do. Maybe that I just, I'm not the one receiving them. You know, like I said, you'll receive orders even when you're offline. So I usually don't bother to go online with Senpex. I just wait for them to send an order. Um, so one example though, is my first order I had with Senpex. It was just a bird bath, um, a simple bird bath, although it was heavy. Um, it was probably a total of like 200 pounds. Um, but it was split into three separate parts, a base, the like, uh, the round part, you know, that the bird bath sits on and then the actual bowl itself, um, which made it really easy. And that of course you don't necessarily need a cargo van for, and that is a good thing about Senpex. I should have added that to the pros where they don't just have cargo van orders. They do have pickup truck and mid to large size SUV orders. I don't, I think they want you to at least have a mid size SUV. Um, and then let's see, a good example. So customer support, customer support, I haven't had to use them, but there are two instances I can talk about where one, I accepted an order and I, this is one where I didn't go online and I made it to the store. And as soon as I arrived at the store, it wasn't letting me say that I arrived. And I'm like, that's weird. So I backed out of the app, got back in it. And then my order was gone. So I was kind of freaking out. And I sent a mess, a quick message to their support saying, Hey, um, you know, something happened with my order. Yada, yada. I forget exactly what I, what I had said. Um, and then I, in my mind, it was just like, you know what? you know, it's a little bit later in the day. It was like, it was like past five o'clock or something like that. I was like, uh, I should have just, should have just stayed home. I shouldn't have sprung on it, you know, and I was just going to take it as a loss. Um, but then they sent a $25 or maybe it was a $15, but they sent some type of order or, or some type of compensation for me arriving there without me even saying anything or without going online. So that part was cool. And then there was also, 
Yeah, so I, I had accepted an order. It was like 1 o'clock in the afternoon. I hadn't eaten lunch yet or anything. And um, I don't typically eat a big lunch or anything, but I do try and get something in around lunchtime um, just to keep the good energy levels going, you know. So I was going to start heading home to grab a quick bite and send Peck sent an order. And I was like, oh, sweet. I accepted it. I went to the pickup location, which this one was the Goodwill one. And I'm like walking around and um, they were closed. It was like a building, not one I've really ever seen a Goodwill be in. And um, it was like a, a brick building, kind of like a corporate office type. Um, and somebody had ordered a guitar. That was the product. But all the doors were locked. People were leaving. And I'm just like, man, this is weird. So, and was this, a, this must have been a Saturday or something, but I, I go in my car and I'm, I'm, I'm now messaging Senpec support and I say, Hey, I'm at the pickup location, but looks like they're closed. Um, not sure if you want me to cancel it or how, how this really works. And it, he just simply asked, why are you there? And so I'm like, that's a weird question. I go back and I, I look at the order again and I see it was a pickup for tomorrow for the next day. And I was just like, oh, sorry about that. I see it's tomorrow. And I actually ended up having to cancel that because I already had an order through load up uh, for the morning, which was going to take a couple of hours. So, and there was also a time I actually messed up and, you know, they, there was actually no repercussions for it. Um, and I didn't exactly mess up. I, the dimensions actually fit in the van, but it wouldn't fit through my door frame in the back here. So it was like, I needed literally like half an inch more, but no matter which angle it was, it was, uh, it was like a fence, um, and I forget the exact dimensions, but it wouldn't fit through through my door frame here, but it actually fit inside of the van. And I told Senpex that that the dimensions just didn't fit through my door frame and it was literally like spot on, but no matter which angle I put it, it just wouldn't fit. So that was my fault. That was my bad. I actually wasn't thinking about my door frame. You know, that was um so it made me feel a little embarrassed, you know, rookie mistake, but, and that was within my, like my first three or four orders doing it for Senpex, but it all worked out. They weren't upset at all. Um, and you know, eventually the customer got their product and I'm sure they were satisfied. So I am going to actually give this a overall rating of 4.0 and it is the lowest rating so far. But the main reason being is they're not busy. And I don't know why that is, why they're not as busy as all of the other gig apps. But the main, re main reason why there's a gig economy right now is people order same day delivery. And so that's pretty much it. Lowe's might not market for same day delivery on a lot of their products. Maybe that's that's all that it is. Um, but we can also do our part, which is one reason why I'm making videos like this, is 80% of all businesses marketing is done through word of mouth. You know, we walk around with advertisements on us and around us all the time. So, and we're, we're very opinionated people and we always say things that we like. So, you know, we're, we're walking billboards, really. And I'm giving it also, a, there is a point one in there for uh, just the benefit of the doubt. You know, I like to throw in just a little bit. So it's really a 3.9 overall rating, but I'm getting, there is a point one in there. Um, just to be a little nice about things. Because if they were really consistent, they would be above a lot of other apps because they too they're really consistent with pay. So that is one of the major pros for sure. 
And one of the major cons is really, which affects the overall rating at this point, it's just not consistent. You could get one order a week. You could then turn around the next week, have three orders in one day, and then not see an order for the next three weeks. So if you guys like this information, like and subscribe, get this out there, and stay tuned for the next video. Peace.